What happens to a narcissist at the end of their life? Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today, I want to discuss how things will end for the narcissist. This is a tricky topic because, ultimately, it doesn't end well for them. Often, after causing significant harm to others, we seek validation that their actions have consequences. While this podcast aims to provide some of that validation, it's also important to cultivate compassion during your healing process. It's okay if you're not ready to forgive, this is a valid feeling after such experiences. I'll talk about the typical path for most narcissists. Some narcissists are very talented and may reach the top of their fields, while others are intellectually clever and try to limit the damage their narcissism causes. However, these are exceptions. Most narcissists do not end up in good positions, regardless of their perceived cleverness. To understand this better, let's briefly discuss how narcissists are created. Like many of us, narcissists face some form of trauma early in life. Unlike most people, they choose to reject and not understand this trauma. Instead, they emulate the person causing the trauma and convince themselves they are perfect, forming a personality disorder. This extreme self-perception is unhealthy. Narcissists create a false persona, or mask, to protect themselves initially. Over time, this mask becomes their entire personality. It starts as a defense mechanism but turns into an offensive tool to control people and situations, ensuring their false perfection is never questioned. To maintain control, a narcissist must constantly manage everything around them. This is impossible, because no one can control people or situations completely. This effort is exhausting and ultimately futile, leading to negative consequences. Narcissists often claim their lifestyle is the best, but even they acknowledge the collateral damage. Their need for absolute control hampers their ability to plan effectively. Unlike most people, who adapt and compromise to reach their goals, Narcissists face setbacks because they must control and overcome every obstacle. This makes their journey longer and can prevent them from achieving their goals. This need for control also affects their critical thinking. Achieving life goals and intellectual satisfaction requires flexible thinking, which narcissists lack. Their black and white thinking can sometimes seem clear, but is mostly harmful. It prevents them from seeing multiple perspectives which is essential for solving complex problems. Narcissists struggle to think critically and analyze situations effectively, which negatively impacts their life decisions. For example, they might leave a supportive partner for someone who appears more glamorous but lacks integrity and support. This black and white thinking leads them to make poor decisions, constantly moving from good situations to bad ones. You might say, the narcissist I knew took my money and now lives a luxurious life with someone else. This situation is common, and I'll address it with more points later. However, it's essential to understand that the narcissist's mask must always remain intact. What you see on social media or hear about their life is often a well-crafted illusion. Narcissists excel at public relations, making their life appear perfect. When they discard someone, they create the illusion that the person wasn't good enough and that they are superior. In reality, they often move to new supply that isn't better than the previous one. They need you to believe this illusion to feel superior and keep you waiting for them. Narcissists create an image of themselves as superior and successful. This image is an illusion crafted for themselves and others. They work hard to project success, which can mislead those around them. Narcissists often experience magical thinking, believing they are infallible heroes who cannot be criticized. This sense of entitlement and unrealistic thinking leads them into risky situations. Sometimes they succeed, but success is never enough for them. They constantly seek validation and praise, never finding true happiness or fulfillment. This need for constant supply creates a parasitic existence, continuously drawing energy from others. Their success is often built on illusions, which they need you to believe in to maintain their facade. Narcissists act without considering facts, finances, or risks. They pursue goals recklessly, driven by their sense of entitlement rather than careful planning. This approach inevitably leads to problems, despite occasional appearances of success. 
Narcissists often dive headfirst into new businesses and risky investments without considering stability or security. Their magical thinking leads them to believe they can do anything and succeed effortlessly. They throw money at ventures without proper planning, leading to repeated failures and financial ruin. This cycle of disaster and rebuilding is common among narcissists. Please share in the comments if you recognize this pattern in someone you've dealt with. Magical thinking and entitlement make narcissists unrealistic risk-takers, often leaving them destitute. They might boast about past successes and future plans, even when they've hit rock bottom. While genuine people can also face hard times, narcissists frequently end up in such situations due to poor risk assessment. Another reason narcissists end up in bad situations is the ripple effect. Their need to control situations and push boundaries can lead to others standing up to them or seeking revenge. Over time, the negative actions of a narcissist can come back to haunt them in various interconnected ways. Just as good energy returns to you, the negative actions of a narcissist also come back, like ripples in a pond. Their deeds eventually catch up with them. The next thing is the aging somatic narcissist. These narcissists rely on their looks and charm to control others and meet their needs. As they age, their physical attributes become less effective, leading to desperation. Many undergo multiple plastic surgeries to maintain their control, often resulting in an unnatural appearance and deep unhappiness. Somatic narcissists, used to getting what they want through their looks, struggle as this becomes harder with age. They become frustrated and angry more quickly because they lack other means to achieve their goals. They haven't developed alternative ways to compensate for their diminishing physical charm. Narcissists always ruin good situations. A classic example is Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Without judging them personally, their behavior illustrates how a narcissist can gain access to a privileged life, like the royal family, but leave when they can't control it using their status for personal gain. Narcissists often enter relationships from bad situations, using the new partner's resources and affection to prop themselves up. However, they typically ruin these good situations too. Even if they leave with some of your finances, they abandon someone who loved and cared for them, which isn't truly beneficial. While many good people exist, they don't often get trapped by narcissists. Narcissists frequently end up with other narcissists. People who have been with a narcissist before are quicker to recognize unhealthy behavior and avoid repeating the cycle. Narcissists follow a predictable pattern, love bombing, devaluing, discarding, and then hoovering back. Every relationship a narcissist has follows a predictable pattern. Some relationships move slower through the cycle, with friends experiencing minor devaluation and being hoovered without being discarded. However, the behavior remains consistent. Our perception is crucial. When discarded by a narcissist, we often believe we're not good enough and that they are moving on to better things. This belief traps us in the discard phase, preventing us from moving on, which is precisely what the narcissist wants. It's important to remember that we create our own reality. By analyzing the situation and understanding the truth, we can affirm, I am good enough. I was too good for the narcissist. Healthy boundaries often drive narcissists away because they want control, not a balanced relationship. They will likely encounter the same issues with their next partner because controlling someone completely is impossible. We don't know if the narcissist's new relationship will be with a good person or how long it will last. The new person may also reject them eventually. This uncertainty highlights that the narcissist has left a good situation for the unknown. The narcissist is filled with hate. This hate and shame are the roots of their false persona. When faced with situations they couldn't handle, they chose hate over curiosity. They decided they were perfect and hated anyone who challenged that belief. This black and white thinking fuels their actions. Narcissists believe everyone is out to harm them, so they constantly fight to put others down and keep control. Their behavior isn't driven by love, but by a need for control. They project their distrust and lack of love onto others, believing only in self-love and viewing others as threats. They refuse to take accountability. Their perfect mask can't be criticized or blamed for anything wrong. 
This simplistic, rigid mindset is like carrying a heavy sack of sand, mentally torturous and unyielding. They envy and hate anyone who does better, perpetuating a cycle of negativity. Living this way, constantly filled with hate and lacking accountability, is neither a fulfilling life nor a true existence. This is the ongoing life of a narcissist. Where do they end up? Often, narcissists develop supplemental addictions, driven by their need to control and get their needs met. This behavior is addictive, and they feel compelled to continue it, doing anything to achieve their goals. Narcissists rarely learn or change. Occasionally, during vulnerable times, you might glimpse the person they could have been. However, they always revert to their narcissistic persona, as it is part of their personality disorder. Their narcissism is ingrained and persistent. Like anyone, they can't fundamentally change who they are. Asking a narcissist to behave differently is like asking someone to act against their core values. It's unlikely to happen. Narcissists remain true to their nature throughout their lives. Over time, their reputation suffers, especially in visible or small communities. They often let people down, fail to keep promises, and become known as unreliable. This tarnishes their reputation, reflecting their consistent behavior patterns. Narcissists constantly need to control situations, often letting people down because their immediate needs take priority over promises or contracts. Their lack of stability and loyalty, combined with hypocritical behavior, means they frequently say one thing and do another. Take, for example, Meghan Markle, who claims to be humanitarian and family-oriented but has been accused of mistreating both her family and the royal family. Such behaviors eventually become apparent, forming the narcissist's reputation. In small communities or public scenarios, this reputation is easier to track, unlike in online relationships where feedback is limited. Regarding where narcissists end up, it's important to note that they often pick the wrong person to manipulate. While they may initially succeed in several relationships or jobs, eventually, they encounter someone who won't tolerate their behavior. This person might be another narcissist, someone with a criminal mindset, or simply someone clever enough to seek revenge. Thus, narcissists do not always get away with their actions, even if it isn't immediately visible. Do not be fooled by the illusion that a narcissist's life is fantastic. It is not. As they age, the cumulative effects of their destructive behavior catch up with them. People distance themselves, their reputation suffers, and they find it increasingly difficult to meet their needs because others see through their facade. Narcissists often end up with severe addictions that impact their health irreparably. Poor decision-making and excessive risk-taking can lead them to homelessness or unhealthy relationships. For instance, one narcissist I knew left a good situation and had multiple failed relationships within a year, often meeting people online, which is a common hunting ground for narcissists. They set up house with two different people, but both relationships failed. We rarely hear about these failures. Instead, social media often only shows the good parts. In reality, narcissists frequently face catastrophic relationships and significant life challenges that remain hidden from public view. Narcissists often struggle to maintain long-term success in their jobs due to poor interpersonal skills. Their sense of entitlement can lead to theft, mismanagement, and other unethical behaviors, eventually resulting in job loss and financial instability. They feel justified in taking what they want which further damages their professional and personal lives. Narcissists frequently cheat in relationships, though some may not recognize it as such. When they lose a relationship and fail to secure a new source of supply, alongside job loss, it creates a perfect storm. Their mask of success crumbles, and without people believing in their facade, they feel worthless. In extreme cases, when their constructed image collapses and they are left without support, Narcissists may resort to drastic measures to escape their situation. This is a tragic outcome of their inability to exist without their mask. How do narcissists end up? Generally, not well. Throughout their lives, narcissists often face numerous catastrophes, some of which may not be visible to outsiders. Those who witness the full extent of a narcissist's downfall might almost feel compassion for the relentless stress and high adrenaline they live with which often leads to physical health issues and severe illnesses. 
Narcissists live in a constant state of fight or flight, always on high alert to meet their needs, which is detrimental to their health. They often end up complaining about severe illnesses due to this perpetual anxiety. Does it end well for a narcissist? Rarely. Their destructive behavior usually leads to a bad ending. While we may not always see their downfall, it's important to recognize that their apparent success and happiness are illusions. They cannot maintain positive situations for long due to their behavior patterns, which eventually cause them to crash and burn. The perception of a narcissist is a choice you can make based on the information and facts about their behavior. Despite seeming successful and happy, they never truly achieve lasting happiness or fulfillment. Their lives often end in loneliness, severe illness, heavy addiction, or even premature death. I hope this provides you with some comfort. If you are on your journey to recovery, try to view the narcissists in your life with some distance and perhaps a bit of compassion. Their lives are often chaotic and devoid of true peace, growth, or fulfillment. While life is challenging for everyone, narcissists lack the ability to truly enjoy success or tranquility due to their inherent behavior. Remember, our perception shapes our reality. Look at the truth without falling for the narcissist's illusions. Free yourself from their control and see life as it truly is. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found the information helpful and insightful. If you did, please take a moment to like the video and leave a comment below. Share this video to others who may benefit from this information. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take good care of yourselves, and I'll be back soon. Bye for now.